A doe and a stag lie on green grass in the background. In the foreground, a stag on its feet squirms and moves his head towards its tail. On-screen text reads, Itching without hands can be a challenge. A school of small fish swims through clear blue sea as a large shark floats patiently in the background. On-screen text reads, Some fish have a surprising solution. A man in a grey shirt adorned with images of fish speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Rupert Collins, museum scientist. Scratching is really important for fish. They do it for a variety of reasons, particularly to exfoliate, get rid of parasites, and sometimes they use it for courtship. A purple tropical fish rubs up against coral. Fish will scratch by rubbing up against rocks and hard surfaces. Various small fish rub up against a white-spotted whale shark. A recent research shows that someone will actually scratch up against sharks. Shark skin is covered by tiny tooth-like structures called dermal denticles. A close-up image of a wave of the grey tooth-like dermal denticles with the pointed ends facing rightward. These are quite smooth in the nose to tail direction, but quite rough in the opposite direction. A dogfish rests above a shell-covered seabed. Its one large visible eye holds a wide gaze. In fact, dogfish used to be used to scrub the decks of boats. So shark skin can make a really effective scratching surface in places like the open ocean where there aren't many other options. For example, tuna have been observed to queue up to scratch against a shark. A woman in glasses speaks to the camera. Resting on a worktop in front of the woman is a light brown model of a small shark with a tag around its tail fin, as well as a large glass jar containing an animal specimen preserved in light orange spirit. Wow, who'd have thought the fish would scratch against sharks? I've been chatting more to Rupert about it, and if you'd like to watch that video, you can check it out here. She points to the top right. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from the Natural History Museum. On the left-hand side, a narrow navy blue rectangle displays the credits. Film, NHM Studios. Research, Karma Hawks. Science, Rupert Collins. The Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the letters NHM, repeated in a concentric circular formation, is displayed on the right-hand side. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.